what's going on squad it's your boy omni second we're outside guys in the park bringing to you another lit video here much love to everybody guys we got a little bit of news here um we're gonna go over some news and then i'd have a giveaway guys we're doing a pokemon go fest ticket giveaway guys four in total it's gonna be two on youtube two on twitter i'll give you guys detail here just shortly um let's cover up let's just cover these news real quick We'll pop up the graphic here in a little bit. Boop. We got Kirim on deck, guys. We got Kirim starting on July 1st at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, guys. We're going to go over the counters here. It's going to be weak against Dragon Fairy, Fighting Rock, and Steel Types. Um, raid Boost CP is going to be 43,470. It's going to be a thick boy, but he can be duoed and he can be quadded. Given the fact that you have level 40s, all the best counter, which is going to be Lucario, and you're going to want to have the boosted. You're going to want to have boosted weather in order to achieve it. Um, so going through here real quickly, the best counters we got is Lucario with counter and aura sphere. We got Metagross with bullet punch and Meta Mash, Meteor Mash. We got Congledor, Congledor, counter and dynamic punch. We have Dialga with Metal Claw and Draco, Draco Meteor. Zekrom is going to be good against him. Dragon Breath and the Outrage. And last but not least, it's going to be Rhyperior. Smackdown Rock Wrecker, guys. So those are going to be the hard counters for it, man. Uh, I'm excited to look forward for this one. As you know, I am super bummed, but I have not been able to get Reshiram. I didn't get Zekrom either. It's hard for me to find people to rating. I haven't been in Manhattan in about three months or so. Um, we are at the park right now. You can see this beautiful, lovely background with me and behind me. We got some uh, people playing some sports in the back. And this is a gorgeous day, guys. Um, but moving right along here on the news as well, guys. We got, also got new spotlight hour mons here we got a new spotlight hour here guys every tuesday on this month there will be um there will be a spotlight hour, spotlight hour going down it's going to be from 6 p.m to 7 p.m and all of them but one is non-shiny so that's pretty good guys we're going to pop the um the graphic up Boop. um so we got Taylo for the first set here and that's going to be on july 7th um it's gonna be on tuesday july 7th again guys that's from six to seven um next up it's gonna be next week following up on july 4 14. that's gonna be a zubat which also can be shiny so i'm looking forward to those also guys in tandem you are gonna be getting double transfer candies for Taylor. you're gonna be getting double xp for evolving mons on the tuesday july 14th spotlight which is zubat and then we are going to be getting the um the oddish for july 21st and that's going to be double catch stardust guys um and then the last one but not least which i'll probably won't be participating in is going to be buzel and that's going to be on tuesday july 28th he's not shiny but you are going to get double catch xp guys so you are getting something there which is pretty good not too bad um let's see moving right along here guys so the next one we're bringing you the news nice and quickly no big bsing around just give you the news rice nice and quick rice and quick so kiero super excited july 7th that's going to be awesome man you guys know the cut the the counters not really that intricate you got them um we are going to be having um the first week guys pre go fest week one is up on deck right here on july 1st july 3rd july 3rd which is coming up here guys tomorrow we have our first week challenges here for the pre go fest event guys so i'm going to pop the graphics boop, right here as you can see guys the weekly challenge skill it's going to be time research to earn ducklet to earn flying pikachu and and more stardust piece i'm forward i'm personally looking forward to this flying pikachu guys that's going to be so dope i can't wait i want to get a 420 shiny flying pikachu is going to be amazing if the following numbers of trainers completed the corresponding pokemon will appear during go fest so for us to unlock these mons you'll see you'll see chime co up there you'll see alamo alamo up there in chancy um shine co is for team instinct 
Alomola is for Team Mystic, and Chansey is for Team Valor. Valor got the only shiny possibility here, you guys. So kudos to uh, Valor. You are Niantic's favorite Steph Child. Um, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. We got to unlock these in order to get these on Pokemon Go Fest, guys, which is coming up here shortly this month. Um, also, I'm not too excited about this, but it is true. Um, Ho-Ho will be returning to the raids from July 3rd to July 6th. And nothing too special about him. He doesn't get a new move or anything. Uh, I believe it's his sixth time around. Incredible. They could have put something in there a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, moving right along, you'll see over here there's an increased appearance on flying mons with, with party hats, guys. Pokemon wearing party hats will be appearing in the wild. Hatching for mags and appearing in raids, guys. So you got that to look forward to as well. We got some new um party hot mons coming up here guys also new shiny pokemon is going to be the pie dove that's going to be from july 3rd to july 18th pie dove is going to be there um also ducklet um which i just mentioned before but pie dove is going to be shiny he's going to be available um yeah and then return of of the jumpstart research in case you missed it last year this is this event is going to help you be able to catch up on other on on all your missed events it's gonna help you out a lot with the stardust experience catching mons etc and guys don't forget to do your photo bombs during this event which is from july 3rd to july 8th don't forget to do photo bombs there should be some a nice little surprise there for you guys but not to mention guys not to forget to mention community day is coming guys we got community day coming let's go we got july community day we'll pop up the graphic here real quick boom um up on, up on deck gengar we got haunter we got um ghastly guys oh this is a lit one although the shiny is barely veil um seeable on the gengar still a very nice one guys so that's going down from 11 a.m to 5 p.m this july 19th guys community day don't forget about it um it's going to be increased spawns um quarter hatch distance we're going to have three hour instances um and also guys we're getting a brand new move for ghastly which is shadow punch shadow punch um that's gonna be you're gonna have not one but two hours to evolve in order to get that mo that move um two hours after the event is done so after five o'clock you have up to two hours to get that evo in there and get that exclusive move you guys um yeah, and then that's about it. We got also, uh, com this is going to be a community day bundle box, which, which they've been doing a lot, so definitely. Um, but don't forget, guys, to have your buddies out while you're uh, doing your community day. It's a little pro tip. Have your buddy out, and he's going to give you, as long as you guys are best buddies um, or great buddies, he's going to come out every half hour and give you 50 balls. So that's a good way to get balls if you're sh running short on balls and um also don't forget to take those snapshots guys it's easy to forget those um and there is going to be the greatly the great ghastly it's going to be a side optional paid special research guys very important right there um it's probably going to be like a dollar but it's going to be paid research and you're just going to get exclusive um research tasks last time i found that i could get everything without having to pay for it so we'll see what we we get this time um i don't know if i'll participate but that is the immediate Poké news, guys. I'm super excited about Kieron. Who would have thought the day where Kieron's gonna be in Pokémon Go, guys? Super amazing, man. Let's go. All right, guys. So that's nice and quick, guys. No BS. I'm gonna bring you the giveaway information just in a little bit. Let's get it. Yo, all right, guys. Last but not least, the giveaway, guys. I am giving away four tickets to Go Fest, guys. Four tickets to Go Fest. Um, big shout out to the homie. Um, Maurice Watson aka mixed um, he's he doubled the he's also helping out with the uh, giveaway so he doubled it up I was putting two he putting two we're gonna put them together guys so this is how it's gonna go the giveaway guys all you got to do for the there's gonna be two giveaways one on YouTube one on Twitter um, all you got to do for the YouTube one is comment in this video down below why you want the Pokemon Go 
Fest ticket. There's gonna be two winners. I'm gonna pick them randomly. I'll put them on the wheel, and you guys will get to see. I'll post it on Twitter. I'll put everybody's name in a wheel, make it totally, totally random. But I do wanna hear why you want a Go Fest ticket. So all you gotta do is be subscribed, one, and then comment, two. That is it, guys, for the YouTube um, giveaway. So you guys can win yourselves a nice Go Fest ticket. Now for the Twitter one, we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do follow and then we're gonna do one retweet on my pinned tweet. That is the first tweet on my profile. So once you go to my profile, you'll see the very first tweet up there. It'll say pinned right above it. It's just got my social media, etc. All I want for you guys is to hit a retweet on that tweet and just follow me on Twitter for the Twitter guys. And I will pick the winner on july 15th guys so stay tuned july 15th is going to be the drawing i will call the winners out then it's going to be four winners in total guys so stay tuned um happy hunting and you already know the motto of the channel guys stay chill and be positive my people and i will catch you on the next one